Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Hello everyone, Merry Christmas. Bridget Eyre here with All About the Grace and I'm so glad to be with you again. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I'm up to 300 now or just about to 300 and I have a great topic today. It is the Christian meaning of various Christmas decorations and even um, some things in the lyrics of a song, The 12 Days of Christmas. So I didn't even know half of this so I think it's really fascinating. I have my advent wreath which is now becomes my Christmas wreath. I switch out my purple and pink candle for white candles to represent Christmas. Um, white is the um, color of the liturgical season of Christmas just like Easter is and so for 12 days I will when I pray I will pray with my now Christmas wreath that has white candles. Christians and Catholics in particular celebrate Christmas for 12 days and it, it starts with the birth of Jesus and it ends with the Feast of the Epiphany which that's when the kings or the Magi arrived to see to worship the king and throughout those 12 days there's various martyr feast days and other um, saint feast days that all point to the Messiah so this is um, this is a really exciting time for Catholics. It's Christmas isn't over for us. It's just beginning. So, um, but today I want to share with you Christian meanings of various Christmas decorations. And I, I learned about this, so I want to share this with you. Okay, holly. I didn't know any of this before, like recently. This was actually in our bulletin. So holly. I'm sure you're familiar with holly. Holly is a shrub that can be grown in most places. Holly represents immortality. I could see that. The sharp tooth edge of the holly leaf reminds us of the crown of thorns, which the soldiers mocked our Lord during his passion. As a Christmas symbol, the red holly berry represents Christ's blood shed for all people, including those who reject him. So that's one important thing that everybody watching needs to know. We ha I have a very interesting audience. It's a very diverse audience. I have people who are Catholic, people who aren't even Christian. I have atheists. I have people who hate Catholics. I have pretty much everybody, um, a, different, a very wide swath of audience. And you need to know that Jesus died for everybody. Jesus came to save everybody. So even if you maybe aren't Christian or Catholic or whatever, that's okay. Jesus died for you and he wants to be in a relationship with you. So give Jesus a try. <laughs> That's the message. Okay, I digress. All right, fruit. The meaning of fruit. As the turn of the last century, good children would receive their only orange for the year as a Christmas gift. As a Christian, as a Christmas symbol, fruit recalls the 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit. And if you're interested in learning about the fruits of the Holy Spirit, you can just uh, put in um, an internet search and look that up. But basically, the Holy Spirit always comes with gifts, and there's also fruit that's born um, in your life as you work in cooperation with the Holy Spirit. Mistletoe. Mistletoe is an aerial paras parasite that has no roots of its own. Okay, so the plant. Uh, it lives off of the tree to which it attaches itself, and without that tree, it would die. This is mistletoe we're talking about. A Christmas symbol, as a Christmas symbol, uh, mistletoe represents our love, which derives and exists only because God loves us. Okay, that's kind of cool. Wreath. Okay, so here's an Advent wreath, and then obviously wreaths on people's doors. A wreath comes from the old English word meaning to writhe or twist. Greens twisted in a circle made of crowns for kings, military leaders, and athletes. It symbolizes eternity, the circle of life, and endless hope. Because a wreath has neither a beginning nor an end, but is a continuous circle, it symbolizes God himself. 
Okay, I could see that. So God doesn't have a beginning or an end. All right, Xmas. The word Xmas. Now I used to always just use that as an abbreviation, but it actually is Christian. But I thought it was a secular thing. Okay, so Xmas. Well, Xmas is seen by some as a secular way to cross Christ out of Christmas. The word actually is an abbreviation for Christmas. Okay, I thought that. Christ was often written as the letters XP or as XT. And the Greek letter Cairo stood out for Christ, stood for Christ, and in the ancient Greek, um, a symbol for Christians. So that's some of the um, that's some of the decoration meanings for Christian meanings. I will put the link. There's a whole bunch more, but I'll put the link in the description of this video for more if you're interested in learning more. I I thought that was pretty fascinating. I wanted to share one other thing with you, which I also thought was pretty interesting. When I was looking up, just to confirm the 12 days of Christmas, the beginning and end, I, I learned about the origin of the song, the 12 days of Christmas. I did not know this. Uh, so Catholics in England, so this the song, the 12 days of Christmas originated in England. And Catholics in England during the period of 1558 to 1829, it was illegal to be Catholic in England. And you were prohibited, the law prohibited you from practicing the practice, any practice of your faith by law, either in private or public. Um, it was a crime to be Catholic. So... The 12 Days of Christmas was actually a song that was taught, a covert song <laughs> that was taught to teach children about the Catholic faith, to pass it on. It was a catechism tool. I had no, I did not know this. And um, so it was also a way to, it was a way to pass on the faith in a way that if you were found with the song, it wasn't obvious that it was Christian so that people, it was a way for people to pass on the faith without getting caught having any written materials that would show that they were a Catholic. So, um, let me see here. Okay. So I'll tell you what the symbols mean. I didn't know this. Two turtle doves. That means the old and new Testament. Okay. Three French hens stands for faith, hope, and charity. The theological virtues of four calling birds equals the four gospels and the four evangelists. Five golden rings stand for the first five books of the Old Testament, which also called the Pentateuch, the Pentateuch which gives the history of man's fall from grace. Six geese a laying stands for the six days of creation. Seven swans a swimming equals the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit and the seven sacraments. This is like so cool. Eight maids a milking equals the eight beatitudes. Nine ladies dancing equals the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. Ten lords a leaping equals the Ten Commandments. Eleven pipers piping equals the eleven faithful apostles. And twelve drummers drumming equals the twelve points of the doctrine of the Apostles' Creed. That is super cool. Anyway, I will put the link to this article. It was written by Father Hal Stockert. Uh, I, will, I will post this full article and then the resources also to the us, other Christian symbols. There's a link for that. Um, if you haven't gotten a copy of my new book, this uh, I published um, in January of 2020. 
And boy, has 2020 been <laughs> one wild year. Not a good one necessarily, but I guess uh, I'll be doing a video on what I learned in 2020 with the pandemic. But this book is really um, on discipleship using new media is really a way, a tool for you to take your evangelization into the digital world. And a lot of people are spending a lot of time in the digital world. We all do some more than others, but it's a way for us to reach out to other people using these various digital platforms and digital media. So you can get that book on my website, which is um, allaboutthegrace.com. Just go there and you can get a link to it, or you can just go to Amazon and get it there. And Or if you put a, if you put a comment and you want put your email, I can also send you a book, a signed copy if you want one. I can send you one. So uh, thanks so much for wa watching. Merry Christmas, and I'll be back with you soon. So God bless. Oh, one more thing. I always have one more thing. <laughs> uh, if you haven't clicked subscribe, please do click subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. It, it really just saves me a lot of time um, in terms of pushing it out. But um, And I want you to get all the good things that God has for you. So thanks so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.